Hey guys, my name is Faith Tomato, and I'm here because this is part three of my new series, Revisiting the Islands. This time, um, we go to Tang Tingle Island. Now, this take notice that this is our very first sound updated island that I'm going to be revisiting. Although it was like updated, I believe, late 2013, and... Um, I because I know it came before Mythology Island was updated, so yeah, it was late 2013 this was updated, so I already restarted the island, so let's get this ball rolling. Now, this one actually has more of a semblance of a plot as compared to early Pop Tropica and Shark Tooth, because here, your goal is to make sure you, your future doesn't turn into a dystopia. So, we, in order to do that, we get a visit to the future that Professor Pendulum had created. So, let's go. I didn't know that the dystopia now has a um, ad screen, but at least it gives you a chance to look at the creepy background before now I think this is one of the creepiest things the creators have done in the game at this point but when you really think about it it kind of like makes sense that things would happen like this and there you'll see future me I think in the future I wouldn't be wearing those kinds of clothes but Let's just talk to her, so, 50 years older, so that would make her 67. Hey, and, um, sorry about that, but let's see what we got here. Now here, we are going to get our... Um, classic time device, which has grown to be like a symbol. It wasn't supposed to be this way. <laughs> Something happened in the past to ruin mankind's future. Can you turn back the hands of time and make things right? Well, it's a Pop Tropkin's duty to do what is right. 2065. Um, the cool thing about this island is that it updates as the years goes by, so... I remember this saying 2060 way back when I first started playing, and now here we are, 2065, five years later. Now let's see. Hmm. I'll just go in a uh, chronologic, semi chronological order, or for the um, convenience, I'll just go in chronological order. Now you'll notice that with every place, there's its own unique little soundtrack, which I really appreciate how I'm doing. I'm Jeff Heim, I'm reply I'm talking about the composer for Pop Tropica. So now we just gotta jump up here. And strangely enough, I'm happy that to say that this uh, this soundtrack was not repeated when Mythology Island came out, another Greek based place. I bet they didn't know that they were going to expand more on this time period back then, because I suck at platforming. No, not because of that, but what I was trying to say is, um, okay, let's see, we gotta jump, uh, okay, that was a lucky, this is actually a bit better platforming than early Pop Tropica. At least there's no randomly moving platforms. And I'm not and the only time where there's randomly moving platforms is when like there's needed to be like in the future in the future and stuff. We'll get to that when we get to that, but in the meantime, I'm just going to jump up here. I'm already at 5 minutes, so I have a feeling that this will be my first multi-part um playthrough so okay now I got the phonograph so hmm don't have what I need for that yet so 
I'll head on over to... I think this is Ghana. I don't exactly remember what this place was, but... The fact monster um, icons aren't here anymore, so I can't double check. Like I said, each place has its own unique soundtrack, so that's pretty cool. Timbuktu. Now let's jump up here. And I remember here you have to like put together a puzzle because he has the Declaration of Independence. Which is one of the items that needed to... Now this is back when like it was kind of ob more obvious that this was kind of educational. Well, as compared to the subtle of um, the past, um, of the right now, but sorry, the music is kind of like distracting me a little bit. Um, give me a second. I want to make sure that this. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure you don't want me to see me doing the puzzle boringly, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now we just gotta finish putting this together, and it's a portrait of Mansa Musa. I remember, I think I remember looking, learning about him back in middle school or something, but I don't know what just happened there with the movement, but at least I got the declaration. Now let's head on back over and get, wait, I don't have what I need to get to Da Vinci yet, so I'll just move on to Aztec. Now over here, um, here's where you can start seeing like some of the effort that you put in. So, so let's grab up, and then we'll grab this mask from this guy who's just chilling on top of an Aztec temple. Because who wouldn't do that? Let's grab the warrior headdress and wear this silly little thing. I may look ridiculous, but it'll help me do what I need to do. And he'll just give me the goggles, which are in um, the Mount Everest realm. So, in the meantime, let's go to the Great Wall of China. I don't need this right now, so... Hey, at least it doesn't take away my star. So... It did take away my bang, though, but... Oh, well. Let's play this little memory game. This is actually the ones from the Viking realm, so... Let's get the start underway, shall we? Now I'm gonna point my finger at where the um, thing he wants me to do is. So, hmm. Hopefully, okay. This is it. Oh, uh, it's not exactly a memory game. It's more like following follow the card game. So. Yeah, now over here we need to find something else. But first, before we go, I gotta grab this gunpowder. Because I'm gonna need it when we go back into the Viking realm. So, let's continue going around the clock, the clock and go over to the Declaration of Independence realm. Funnily enough, I actually took... um. Advanced Placement U.S. History this year, so this is kind of, like, um, interesting to, to me, so that's cool. Now let's go over to Jefferson, and we can give him back the Declaration. Oh, wait, this is before the time before um, 
we can、um, use items like to give. So you have to talk to people to、um, get the items for them. So let's give them the Declaration of Independence, and then we can be on our way. Now, before we go, let's grab the item from here. I promise things will get more interesting, you guys. Although, although this island is more like a little bit more gameplay than、um, than the other islands, two islands I've played so far, it's not, still not exactly there yet. So, let's go over to the Lewis and Clark place where we can go up. And up, and up, and there's, got it. I don't believe I have the peace medal yet, so. Nope, I don't. So I can't give it back to them yet. So let's go over to Thomas Edison's realm where we do have something for him. So, funnily enough, Thomas Edison will be one of the characters in Pop Tropica that gets more than one appearance, except. In here, he's a little more simple, simply like、um, designed. He will reappear again in Mystery Train, where、um, he's given a more complex design as compared to the past. So that'd be cool. Now let's jump up the trees, and for some reason, a lot of the items that we need are hiding on top of roofs and、um, stuff. So let's grab the Aztec place and. Go inside of Thomas Edison's home, and go up, jump. When I first played, I thought he was Thomas Edison because scientists are, because in my young mind, scientists are supposed to look like that. But nope, turns out to be this fellow right over here. So let's give him the phonograph, and actually, if you click play on it, um, it actually plays the first time. Pop Tropica ever has sound where it shows Thomas Edison's original recording of Mary had a little lamb whose fleece is white as snow, so that's pretty cool. So we've done everything we need to here. Let's move on over to the Statue of Liberty, which, which actually looks kind of realistic as compared to like other things in Pop Tropica. This is back in the time where like, it was. Normal to see like realistic things like this. So, oh, Lady Liberty, wait until you find out what happens to you in the future. Now, wait, we don't have the model yet, so for right now, we just gotta go and get the item from here first. Come on, jump, jump. Okay. A lot of these、um, ways to get up to where we need to go has to do with platforming. So, cool! I got、um, Leonardo da Vinci's、um, notebook. So now let's move on to the Everest realm. So, eh, it's cold as a mountain up here, but we can pull through. There's no heat and cold system yet. So let's go up here. And not fall for that snow platform trick. So, jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, and jump up here. It's actually funnily enough. It's when you move forward is when the、um, ice effect takes place. So let's climb on up over to top, where we find that the goggles were. Or belongs to the two over here. I believe this is Sir Edmund Hill Hillary. So let's give him the、um, goggles, and then afterwards let's climb up to the top with them and see what we can find up there. Now this has a lot of platforming too, and you have to dodge icicles that want to fall on your head. So there we go. Perfect. Now, let's see. Let's go over to the Viking realm since we have what we need for from there. So 